you guys doing today? I'm Harper, and this is my mother, Angela. Hi. <laughs> welcome, or welcome back to Pleasure with, with Harper. Harper. Which is me. We make toy videos and sometimes gaming videos. We do. And today, we have, we have make a wind chain activity uh, bone. It's wind Kay. chime. Wind ch Whoops. What did I say? Wind chain. Oh. Or something. Oh. <laughs> this was sent to us from Goo Idea, and you can get it on Amazon. And I will leave the link to these in the description below so you can check it out yourself. Create your. What uh, are you looking at? <laughs> create your own work of art. I love <clears throat> painting, and we got paint brushes. <laughs> uh, we really enjoy painting and doing anything art and craft stuff. Artsy. We are very artsy. <laughs> but this says, make a wind chime activity kit ages three and up. I am eight, almost nine. Well, I'll turn nine next year. August. That's, that's true. <laughs> Let's see. Fishbone wind chime. But it has a couple or a few different designs that you could do. And one on the front. There's three on the back. Oh, yeah, there are. There are three different ones right here. Looks like biggest to smallest to me. They all look different sizes, yeah. Well, Big they might be smaller, closer. Smaller. But before we start opening, if you are new to the channel and have not yet subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. It's down here somewhere. I think it's over here. And give this video a thumbs up. A big one. Yeah, yeah. And hit the notification bell to never miss an upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Those two days, two days. Yes. But we are going to go ahead and start opening and see what all is inside. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, it comes with two paint brushes. It comes with a detail brush. Two different brush sizes. And a bigger brush. Okay. And it comes with so many paints. All right. So we have paint. And paint, two paintbrushes. And two different size paintbrushes, which is pretty cool. We have the string and beads. I forgot what that's for. The wind chime metal Things. part. And then we have the wooden pieces for the fish. The fish. Oh, we actually put it, have to put it together? Yeah. Nice. That's another fun part. Looks like we can make three. Yeah, yeah. So for this video, Harper will do one and I will do one. Yay! That way we can both paint. But then this, it has goo idea. I see. Goo idea. <laughs> and it shows you the, the different pieces. That's a fun name. Yeah. And it also shows how you put it together which is pretty cool because i would need the directions on how to put it together it doesn't have any directions on like which order to do it but i'm guessing you paint it first so that is what we are going to do do we need to like cut these out because look what? at the bones oh yeah i wonder if you can punch them out so they look we, like wood. They're wood. So these are the pieces that are going to kind of attach the wind chime pieces. We've got tails or fins. Fins. I guess fish don't have tails. They have fins. I mean, technically, yes, it's a tail fin, but another fin. There's a head. Yeah, we Faces. got. The head. Heads. <laughs> and then the bones. The rib cages. And it looks like you should be able to kind of punch them out. Can I try? Well. Oh. Okay. So they are a little difficult to punch out, but oh. you can punch them out. Which is good because Ah, I got a rib bone. I don't we we don't have a wood cutter or a saw. Okay. 
This is harder. That's really cool. Then we got the strings and the little beads. And it looks like the beads go between the different ribs. That would make sense. Yeah. So if you do get this, your kiddo or grandkid or whoever you're getting it for might need a little extra help getting the the wood pieces out. These are actually soft bristles. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, that's really cool. And we got all kinds of different colors. There's black, white, green, blue, yellow, and red. So pretty much the basic colors. And then there's... Primary colors. Yes. And then um, maroon, orange, blue, purple, and a pe no, peach and brown, I'm guessing? Yeah, it might be brown. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we already got... This is um, Harper's paint cup. It's, it's been used for a while. Yeah, I've had it for... A long time yes but we gotta get our space set up I have a really good idea what my fish is gonna look like oh yeah I have no idea I'm excited I am excited to do this though because uh -huh. we really enjoy painting yes okay so what I'm gonna start with the head first uh, I'm going to start with the head, too. Wait. I... <laughs> that was not the head. That was the tail fin. All right. There. Which one do you want to start with? The uh, detailed one? No, I'm going to do a base coat first. He's on the desk. So this this is one of our paintbrushes, but that's because there are two of us doing it, not just one. Yes. But you're going to use the one that came with Kit? Yes. I'm going to try to do a base coat. This is very translucent. <laughs> I've also, I, I, I also didn't get very much. And we do have extra paints just in case there isn't enough for these or with these. Wow, this is translucent. <laughs> That's okay. We're still staying positive. <laughs> very translucent. And we might have to do a couple different layers. Black seems not as translucent as the white. Look at this white. Yeah. Have to do multiple coats. And since we're painting, we might get a little messy. I'm gonna go get that's my paint okay. shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Might have to do a different color than white. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just have to get our other white. Because, yeah, it's going to take a lot of layers. So, it didn't come with a whole lot of black. But I think that if you don't do your whole base coat in black, you should have enough. Mm -hmm. So, we so. got my tube paints. And also my palette, too. Hi, it's me, girl. This is paint. You cannot have paint. But you're so cute. But I want some. <laughs> ha, ha! I got you. I got you, baby. But guessing that's a song. Yep. As a club. Oh, you got my nose. You got my nose. Oh, it's called I Got Your Nose? No. I don't know. I got you, babe. Or something. Some of the paints don't have a whole lot of paint in them at all. Like the red, there's hardly any in it. And it's kind of dry, too. It's kind of dried out. Oh. But I mean, if you have your own paints, that's a good... This can help or get you started, but if you want to do more details and use more paint, then it might be a good idea to have your own. But 
But this has been fun so far. And Harper decided that she's going to go ahead and paint the other one as well. While she waits for the one side of hers to dry. All right. So it took a while to get them painted and let them dry. But I went, we went ahead and put one of them together. So here is one that Harper painted that is completely put together. And it took a while to get it put together. But, and I think I twisted the strings wrong because <laughs> this piece doesn't want to stay facing forward. But we have one done. And it looks really cool. So now we have our other ones painted. It's and just this part <laughs> that looks the most difficult. <laughs> yeah, to put the strings through these and this and get it all tied together. It takes a while. And they have little hooks in them, which you can kind of see a little bit. Oh, I painted over those, so they're probably not. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but you're supposed to put the string through there. And this is gonna be difficult. But I had to have my husband help with the, the Hawkeye themed one to get the strings in the, the little hooks. And we couldn't get them all the way through but we got them to where they will stay. But each fish has, needs four strings and the directions say that you start with the head. So take a string. Got a string. You put one end through the top hole in the head. Um, in, into the front or in the back? It doesn't matter. This is going to be the part that hangs on, or like, <clears throat> hangs on a hook or something, or a nail. But I tried to make the strings even. But then you tie a knot in it. Mine aren't even. Mm. And it doesn't matter how high up you have the knot it's really your preference on how low you want it to hang but how do you do a knot i'm confused you take it i put my fingers through and then uh -huh. grab it and pull it through uh-huh uh-huh so Harper did hers kind of rainbow theme, which I think it looks really cool, and I'm excited to see what it looks like all together. Yeah, I'm giving this rainbow one to Grandma Kelly and the Hawkeye one to my Uncle Ron. Yeah. And mine, I didn't, I, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but I ended up doing kind of like a an underwater theme, like at night, because I made it black. But I put seaweed and bubbles on these pieces. She was going to do it like Jack Skellington themed Nightmare for Christmas. Yeah, but the, the white that came with this, it was it's, very transparent. Yeah. And you couldn't really see it. And you had to, we tried going over with several different layers, and it didn't work very well. We did end up getting some of our paints that's how i did that it's and they worked bright. better yeah but they they give you a lot of different paints though yeah. there's quite a few different ones here i used other ones for these like i used uh that's red i used a magenta kind of color to make this bead yeah okay so she made all of hers blue I made mine to kind of look kind of like bubbles. Bubbles. Little, little bubbles. 
a little bubble. But after you get the head string tied, then you take another string. Another string. What's next? And you put it through this bottom hole. And try to make them even. Okay, and then you got to put one of your beads on it, on the two strings together. And we found that you don't want to make it too tight because then the pieces will be all, like, they won't lay flat, if that makes sense. They'll be all bunched up and not work very well. And then the next one, you're going to need the top of your fish's ribs. And you have to separate the, the string. Because one end is going to go down in this way. And the other one is going to go up through the same hole. So down through, then the other one... The other way, right? Yep. And with these, I painted the backs of all my pieces black. But you don't have to. Harper didn't want to, so she didn't paint hers. Or the back of hers. Which is totally fine. But then, after you get the first part of the rib cage, you find another bead. And you put the bead through both strings. Or both ends of the string. And then you take the next rib piece and you split the string up again. And you keep doing this until you're done with the ribs and the beads. So we're going to do it. Okay, so now we each have all of our rib cages and beads on. So the next part is the tail. The tail. For the tail, all you have to do is take one of the strings and put it in either through the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. Because once you get it in there, you're going to tie it. Uh, how do you tie it? About uh, a knot? Like you tie your shoe. Oh. Like the first part. And then once you get it tied, you can clip off the ends. And now we each have... A fish. A dead fish. Pretty much. But these these are looking really cool so far. Okay, half of it wants to stay like that and the other half wants to turn around. <laughs> and really, I think it depends on how you put the strings through. I think. Oh, come on. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's cool looking. Okay, so the next step, you need a string. And this, for me, is the most difficult part. Because you have to put it through the, the bottom of the tail first with one string. And then put the ends of the string in opposite holes. So one here and one here for the first string. I'm confused. So let's do that. Put one end through the bottom of the tail. And try to even them out again. And if you do get this, just be careful of splinters. Because th these are made of wood. And they do have some places that you can get splinters. So just be careful. Didn't Daddy get a splinter? Yep. But then you put it through one side. And then the other side. I'm confused. And this is this is the part that I struggled with the most because you have to put the string through one of these. And you have to decide how long you want you want it, like how far away from the tail you want it. And also I got mine. Yep. And also how far away you want 
the chime to be from the circle. So that's all up to you, but I found it to be really difficult to get them as even as possible. Okay, I got it how I wanted it to be. Now what do I do? But after you get it where you want it, you tie the end of the string to the part that is up next to the circle. And then when you have one tied, you got to do the other side. Uh, so now you have two on there and you got to try to get it in the little hooks so the knots don't or so the circle doesn't just go right through. Because the knot isn't quite small and or the knot isn't quite big enough to not fit through the hole. There, now these aren't going anywhere. Eh. Eh. Alright, now I'll help you. I'm not strong enough. Well, here. There, now two of Harper's are done. Yay! Now we gotta do the other two. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> another string? So, you gotta get another string. And you're going to put Next it through the string. bottom of the tail again Next and make those even. And you're going to put the ends of this string into the other holes in the circle. Well, it's a lot easier the second time around than it was the first time, that's for sure. And then you take your other chimes. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> my... One end of a string through. And once you get those through, you can tie those as well. Just easier said than done. People, people. All right, so now we have to get these strings into the little hooks. Oh, boy. And now they are done. Mine's wonky. That's okay. They turned out really cool. I really like them. Mine's weird. <laughs> And if you want to, you can clip the ends of these strings off as well. Which I think I did that with yeah, you did that. the Hawkeye one. But. Yeah, I will Hawkeye the football team. They turned out really cool. I really like them. And they jingle. Okay, mine. Yeah, those are really cool. I'm really glad that we got these sent to us from Goo Idea. Goo Idea. And again, I am going to put a link to this product in the description below so you can check it out. And they are time consuming, but they are so cool. And it has so many different designs that you can do. You can make them unique like you, that's, make them show your personality or make them however you think somebody else would like it and give it to them as a gift. Yeah, like, I tried to put purple on this one because purple is Grandma Kelly's favorite color. And I just know Ron, my uncle, loves the Hawkeyes as much as my father does. So, oh my gosh, it's crazy. But... These are really cool, and we still have paints left over that we can use them to paint other things if we want to. And we still have the paint brushes, but I... Put them away. Put them away. <laughs> I did put them away because I was cleaning up and forgot to leave them out. Yeah. But it does have the directions. It's, it's pretty easy after the first time, except for the... The ring part, I was still Confused a little eh on that part. But they turned out really cool. Yes. I'm so excited. Can't wait to hang them up. Yes. So again, thank you, Goo Idea, for sending these to us. It was so much fun. We got to show our creativity again. It's actually the first time that we've painted on camera. Really? Yeah. I have so many painting experiences that I can't remember. 
we love painting and doing anything arts and crafts. So this was right up our alley. It was a lot of fun. Struggles every now and then, but a lot of fun. I made a cyclops. I made a cyclops fish. <laughs> it kind of does look like a cyclops, but that's okay. That big block thing in the middle is a mouth. I, I, I didn't feel like putting teeth or anything. But it's really cool, a lot of fun. But we really had a lot of fun doing this. But <laughs> if you like this video and would like to see more, give this video a thumbs up. A big one! Woo! Yes! A big one. And click the subscribe button down below. Is that here somewhere? I think it's way over here. <laughs> and hit the notification bell to never miss an upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Two days. Two days. Yes. The links to our Instagram and Facebook are in the description below if you want to check those out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Uh, good idea!